Canva. What is it? Is it for photographers? Should photographers be using Canva? Is it something that's a good tool or maybe it's just a waste of time? Well, in today's video, we're going to discuss Canva, what it is, what it does, and what you shouldn't be doing with it. So first of all, who am I? My name is Mike Patterson and I'm a professional full-time photographer located here in Southern Alberta, Canada. And I've been a professional photographer for 39 years. Not only that, but I also own and operate a full service photo lab. So many of my customers that I print from, for, with, bring me in files from Canva. And I've seen the good and I've seen the bad. And believe me, there's great and there's horrible. So what is Canva? Well, Canva is a program that you sign up for online. You don't have to download anything to your computer. You use it online. There's a free version and a paid version. And you can do things such as laying out wedding announcements. You can lay out greeting cards. You can lay out calendars. You can do so much graphic work with it. And it comes with clip art. It comes with different layouts and designs and ideas. And it comes with a lot of stuff that is useful, but there's a lot of stuff that it does not do. So let's get into what it does do. Canva allows you to design anything that you want so that you're getting a professional looking design without buying and downloading a program to your computer. You can use the free version, but believe me, the free version is limited. I use a paid version it's through the company and it works wonderful. It does everything that the free version does, but you get a lot more free clip art, free different graphics and so on and so forth. And in many of my videos, I'll grab some of their graphics. I'll grab some of their pictures for stock pictures because it's great to use. It's great to grab. When I'm doing newsletters, if I want to talk about storms and I want a picture of a storm and I don't have one of my own, instead of waiting six months to get a storm picture, I'll grab one of their pictures and put it in my newsletter. It works great for stuff like that. But it is not, and it does not do photo editing just does not work at it, just is not good at it, just is not designed for it. And I get so many photographers that will go in and try to do photo editing using Canva. Well, I cropped the image in Canva, but did you crop it correctly? It's not designed, it doesn't have a way of going in and easily sizing images. It's a really roundabout way of doing it and it's not designed for that. So stop using it for the stuff that it's not designed for and use it for the things that it's designed to do. Again, it's designed to do your graphic work. It's designed to do your Christmas cards. It's designed to do your wedding announcements, your birth announcements. It's designed to do your gift certificates. It's designed to do your newsletter. You can do stuff for online on it. You can do a lot of stuff but it's not designed to edit your photos, so stop doing it. Some of the problems that I see with Canva, here we go. First one is picking the wrong, well, original size to make your, well, whatever you're doing, your invitations, your graphics, whatever, and then sending it in and expecting it to print high quality. I get a lot of people that will go in and they will pick a low resolution graphic, a low resolution layout that's supposed to be used online. They'll design a beautiful card and then they'll send it to me and I'll go, but it's horrible. It's pixelated. It's low resolution. They go, but I did it on Canva. It doesn't make any difference. You need to select the right resolution or the right size. I strongly recommend going in and selecting the custom size to the inches that you want laid out. So if you want to make a card that's a five by seven, go in and click on five by seven inches and make your card. We do everything in Canada, even though we're metric in the photo business, we do everything in inches. So four by six, five by seven, eight by 10, 11 by 14. If you're using Canva and you're sending stuff to get an 11 by 14, don't make it an A3 or an A7 because your printer won't know what to do with it. The printer won't know how to crop it. Make it the size you want in the inches that you want it laid out. So that's the first thing. The second thing I see a lot of issues with with Canva, and I don't know why it is. I've tried figuring it out, and I get a lot of people that have the same problem, whether it's the free version or the paid version, is that they use their cell phones and they do the design in their cell phones. Then when they send it to me, the resolution is really low. But, and here's the weird thing. 
These are the same people who do work on their laptop or their desktop and the quality when they send it to me is really good. It's high. It's amazing. So I don't know what it is. The only thing I can figure out is they're selecting the wrong resolution, but they swear to me they're not doing it. The second thing that could possibly be is when they're uploading one of their photos from their phone to Canva that's uploading in a lower resolution, maybe because it's on their phone in the lower resolution, but maybe they're hitting the wrong button or something. But whenever I see something come in now from Canva and they want more than one or two copies, I actually require the person who designed it to come in see a proof, sign off on it, and then I'll make their copies from there because it does some really funky stuff that just destroys it. So if you are doing layouts, I strongly suggest a desktop or a laptop because cell phones just, I don't know what it is with resolution, but it's horrible. The next thing that I see a lot of issues with on Canva, downloading. And I get it so often. People download weird formats and then they send it in for printing and the quality is just not there. The colors aren't there. It's just, it's weird. If you're downloading, I strongly recommend JPEG format. Quality 10, the highest quality, and go from there. It works great. It works wonderful. It works fantastic. If you insist on something better, you can download PDF in the print format, which is their highest resolution supposedly, but I have seen numerous distortions when downloaded in that format. And again, I don't know why. It's been from different photographers, but it stills happened. And it's just weird things that are distorted. They, they look at the picture and they go, the people don't look quite right. Now, maybe it was them, maybe because they did it on their phone, they swiped something and they missed something and they distorted the picture but they guarantee me they didn't. And then when they re-download it to me on the JPEG format, it looks perfect. So be very careful if you're using PDF. So those are some of the issues. And so those are some of the good things. What should you do if you want to edit pictures? Can you edit pictures in Canva? No, it's not even worth it. Can you resize pictures in Canva? Don't even try it. I have a new, oh, so many photographers, numerous photographers that have tried cropping their pictures to five by sevens using Canva. So here's what they do. They get a, a layout size of five by seven. They upload 50 pictures. They drag them into Canva. They shift them all around and then they send me the pictures. You would not believe how many issues I've seen with distorted, with twisted, with this, that, and the other thing by doing it that way. And it's time consuming. So if you're going to do editing of pictures, cropping, if you're going to color correction, if you're doing anything like that, get a photo editing program like Photoshop or uh, Elements or get something cheap or free like GIMP or whatever. Do your editing, do your cropping and everything in that, but use Canva for what it's designed for. Use Canva for designing your layouts, designing your cards, designing whatever you want it for your newsletters. It works great for that. Now, what about the clip art? What about the other stuff? That's wonderful, that's fabulous. And like I mentioned earlier, it is perfect if you're doing a card up for somebody and you want something, let's say a picture of a dollar bill in there. You can easily go in, type in dollar bill, get it, pull across, and you have clip art. You can go and get a graphic for a sunrise or a sunset, and you can say sunset sessions coming this fall. You can do a lot of stuff like that, but please beware and please don't do it. Don't try to put off the pictures that they have on Canva as your own. Use it for B-roll, which is like fill-in stuff. Use it for that, but don't try to put it off as being your own pictures. I've seen this happen a few times, and it's just not cool. So should you use Canva as a photographer? Yes, for laying out, for stuff like that, for designing, it works wonderful. It saves you buying another program. You can use the free version, you can use the paid version, but it works wonderful. Should you use it for photo editing? Don't even think about it. So until next time, have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Get out there, take some amazing pictures. Do something fun with it. Do it in Canva. Tell me down below if you do use Canva and what you think of it. We'll talk to you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.